Hello YouTube, back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about spirit working, but the title is Your Eyes Have to Be Trained. Now, why do I say this? Because you can get a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of workers, you know, you know, uh, pots, whether it's uh, housings for loi and statues, photos, whatsoever. And if your eyes cannot see, or if you do not know how to read signs and omens, these things cannot benefit you. I had one person in the past who was initiated. Well, I guess he was initiated into voodoo whatsoever. He paid his X amount of dollars and they never went, they did never did any schooling with him. So I tried to help him. He told me that he was a wunga whatsoever in the past whatsoever. And you know, Lo and behold, I realized he didn't know nothing. He just had the title of a wunga. He just got a bunch of rituals and basically, um, and that was it, you know? And he went about telling everyone that he was a wunga. And then having a couple of conversations with him, I realized over time that he really didn't know nothing. And I could, and it wasn't really something against him. That was what he was taught. And my thought in my mind was that, you know what, guy, you need to start all over. Sorry that you spent $40,000 on some shit that never, you know, that you, that doesn't work for you whatsoever. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, as far as uh, it goes with what he got, I mean, I tried to help him out with giving basic rituals for some of the law that I was familiar with. And I was telling him, like, separate the basic thing of separating certain spirits. He didn't even know that, you know. I mean, these were basic things whatsoever, you know, but the, 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 the case in point is that this is the, 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 you know, the, the, you know, the fuckery that a lot of people deal with that learn voodoo outside of, you know, it, outside uh, of tradition, home tradition itself is that you run the risk of basically learning, like picking up bad, like bad, like, uh, information, you know, um, I'm not going to say. Uh, being taught the wrong way because you know most people are not really taught they're just giving a ritual and that's it you know so when it boils down to having your eyes trained what I mean by that is being able to read simple things signs and omens prime example if you do some love work for a client but you work with Metcalfu you put some rat shit on this altar all of a sudden someone calls you and basically says, oh man, you know, I, I don't know, I just got into an argument with my boyfriend. Now, to the average person who does not have training, they would say, oh, that's a coincidence, she just got into an argument with a boyfriend. But when you become spiritually advanced, you can sense or know, holy shit, that's not normal. That is not natural at all. That is what you call, ma like, conjuration, manifestation. When you're talking about conjure, conjure means to make appear. Everything is visual in the universe. When you're talking about these things happening, visual. When you take the veve or vev or pati pimba and you heat that bad boy up, you walk outside, you see the manifestation. So those of you who work with the uh, the um, seals of Solomon or uh, some of these medieval. Uh, Jewish um, Jewish talismans. Uh, you know uh, what was it? I think I forgot the name of the guy. You know, um, I made a video about this whatsoever in the past. You know, but anyhow, there's a seal I worked with before, and it basically said something about uh, causes people to wars and fights to happen. You know, now I powered that seal up, and I went to this corner store, and as soon as I went to the corner store. People just start, I just saw people fighting and arguing whatsoever, you know? So that was like manifestation. See, if I was blind, I would be thinking, oh, you know, uh, man, you know, I, I want to see wars and people just fighting and stuff like that, you know? But it was an argument going on, like a big argument going on, you know? Some people think it is coincidental, you know? But being a person of experience, what I'm seeing right now, I know it's a manifestation of what I have in my pocket, you know? So, the thing is, you have to be able to read, like, be able to distinguish what is unnatural from what is natural. 
Now, from the basic example of me, uh, of the loi met kafu that I just gave, you know, there's a lot of people that got all this stuff, all these workers, and they don't know how to put them into use. You know, they got all this stuff, and I'm like, why? Uh, how is it that you don't see anything? Like another time, I had an experience where I gave this customer like a, a simple job to do, simple candle, candle work to do, black, you know, black candle, whatever, you know, dark oil whatsoever, you know. And um, I told this person, I had the intention, I thought the person had, like the person was experienced. Come to find out the person wasn't experienced. The person kept on telling me that they were Wunga and this and that, Wunga, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I told him to do this. Like, first and foremost, if you're a Wunga, why are you asking me about this anyway? First off, you shouldn't even be doing this. Secondly, you should have the experience to be able to see things clearly. You know? Why are you coming to a bulk call if you're a Wunga? I thought Wungans know everything, you know? But the thing is this. The person does this simple thing. I've been doing the same thing for like... I've been doing this thing for like years, so I know how it ma manifests. See, the thing is, each job you do, whether it's jars, whether it's dolls, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, whether it's candles, everything has a time period on it. Or basically, even words. Every, like prayers, they have a time period of manifestation. But anyhow, this candle thing, I know when the candle's going on within that seven days, you, while that power's out there, Basically, you should see the manifestation of what you're basically looking to do or the conjuration of it whatsoever, you know what I'm saying, in the environment. And, you know, the thing is, the person says to me, nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Are you around the person 24-7? You know, I mean, are you around them observe? See, what people think when they're talking about doing these Mad, like these magical, like these working these magics and stuff like that to harm the enemies and stuff like that. They take it as something. They look for the supernatural. Truck comes out of nowhere, smashing whatsoever. That's what they're looking for. That's that Hollywood stuff. But when you talk about, not to say that it's not possible, but you're looking at basic things such as illness, going to like going to the hospital. You know, uh, you know, harm being happened to them whatsoever and it's like when you're doing sacred candle work it's like when it, when it manifests it may manifest within two like it may manifest only within two two days two times during the week while the candle's burning you know where you may have okay uh the person gets ill you know and they're sick in bed now next thing you know they lose their job or something like that within that seven days time period you know what i'm saying or they basically get demoted but then again that's not like if you're not a if you're looking for something out of the like something obvious you're not going to get it because that's not how magic works. That's why we have a saying in voodoo: "We will cast a shadow over you that not that will not be distinguished from fate, or that cannot be distinguished from fate, because it is very difficult for you to basically see it because you're going to think that it's something natural." But in reality, it's not natural. But if you have not been trained to understand that, you will look for the Hollywood, the Hollywood uh, thought of what happens when you do magic. You're looking for thunder and lightning to come out of nowhere and bow and this and, and this and that. And magic does not work like that, at all. Period. See, let me say something. And if you're trying to see results for like doing like simple simple magic like that you have, or magic in general you have to stalk your victim for me when i do work for customers i'm sitting at the computer i like i for me i i like i add the person that i'm supposed to work on you know i guess from some of fake account or whatever i add the person onto that account and from me adding them i watch their posts every day every day the minor thing of, man, fuck, why are people arguing with me? Like, I take that as a note. That is something I document. I take as, okay, boom, arguing. Okay, mm, that's a sign. You know, now all of a sudden, fuck. An hour later, they tell my man, I fucking hate this, man. What the fuck? My car just, you know, my car engine just gave out. Oh, okay. But that's the thing. 
When you start paying attention, you stalking the person. Or if you're in the next room, you go while you're working, you go to the next room to eavesdrop. You hear, man, the guy says, fuck, man, I just had an argument with my wife, man. Like, you know, but you're paying attention. You're listening to these basic things so you know what's going on. But if you are sitting home and you have no access to the person whatsoever, how the fuck are you supposed to know whether your spell works or not? See, people got to get rational, you know, people got to get rational with this thing here. There's some sense of logic when you're dealing with this, man. But other than that, I conclude this video. I hope this video was informative whatsoever. Um, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.